Today I'm going over a great versatile indicator from Ninza.co, the Easy Trend indicator. It's a completely customizable moving average indicator. I'm going to go over all the different features and how you might be able to use it in your own style of trading. So we got our blank one minute uh, MNQ chart up and I'm gonna throw on the Ninza Easy Trend and this is what it looks like right out of the box uh, it's got these arrows signals background the moving average but yeah let's look at it and see all the different ways that you can customize this thing I always kinda take off the logo and the instructions uh, just clean up the chart a little bit um, you change this EMA to 20. That's the that's this main line, the main moving average, and you can choose from a bunch of different moving averages. Uh, all these different ones. I'm just going to stick with the EMA for now. Uh, I'm going to take off smoothing, and I'm going to take off this filter. And here's the plot. You can change the color of this moving average line. Uh, I always like to stick with more of a traditional green and red color scheme. Uh, so now this line is green and red going down. I can also paint the bars in any color you like. Uh, again, I just like sticking with the red and the green and click on that so now it's a little bit cleaner this bar outline I, I really don't use that feature too much you can see when you're in a uptrend the bars are a solid green and if you have a down candle it'll be hollow the same on the short side when the bar is going with the trend it's solid if it's going against the trend it's hollow but I honestly don't use that feature too much and I also don't really like having the background on but uh, I'll show you even with the background enabled you can you can change the colors to basically anything you want just make it super colorful if that's something that appeals to you but I'm just going to take this background off so now we're starting to get a chart more to my liking and uh, as with anything definitely want to find your own style and find what works best for you and what's most pleasing to your eye because everyone sees the charts a little bit different so if you can find something that you like looking at every day that helps a lot and that's one of the reasons I love the Ninza indicators is you can customize so much about each indicator uh, really make it your own make it something you want to be looking at every day it also has alerts that you can enable it'll pop up with a little box in the center of the chart and give you an audio alert and tell you when the trend changes I, I usually don't use that I, I like to have a little bit less clutter and the marker that's this signal with the arrow and the easy and you can literally change this to anything you want MNQ long you can also use symbols and type out words saying whatever you want them to say whatever captures your attention and makes you look uh, you can change the font you can change the size of it There's an offset here too, so if it's too close to the candles, you can make that a little bit bigger and it'll put the signals up a little bit higher, a little bit lower. And now it's looking, you know, maybe a little choppy here and there. So if we go back up to the smoothing, it'll add another 
moving average to kind of smooth things out and you can choose all these again and I'll use maybe a 10 DMA and now it cuts out a lot of that chop it's way cleaner this is from <clears throat> today Thursday the August 25th I wasn't cherry picking anything this is just today's chart um, doing a little review here here's the 930 New York open and right away we get a short signal get a red candle and the moving average turns red and that's that bar closed at right around 13,000 and then almost a 40 point potential right there you could grab some ticks out of uh, came back up bounced back down all these candles are staying red so you know you're not really too interested in a long yet <clears throat> then a little bit before 10 you get a bar that closes above the moving average and you're kind of interested now and then the next bar you get a green bar you get a long signal the moving average changes color and that bar closes at right around 13,000 and immediately hops up almost 60 points right there uh, this is the one minute time frame on the MNQ and you see it come down and still not really looking at shorting it because the bars are still green and it bounces right off this moving average a couple times and it just really helps you stay in the trend and ride, ride some trend out a little bit and then a little bit before 11 we get a bar that closes below and it's red moving average turns red you get a short signal that's red right around uh, 13,100 and then drops down 100 points almost and then it's almost 11.30 and honestly I'm usually done trading by 11, 11.30 maybe noon sometimes if I'm really feeling it but here's the it's not the best market conditions and you can see it gets kind of choppy so time of day is definitely important you want to have enough volatility to help out these indicators but let's say you're doing some pre-market trading uh, still had plenty of nice trades in the pre-market right after seven o'clock had a 20 point move there and then right after 7.30 had another 15 point move or so nice long there, short there so plenty of possibilities and just so many different ways you can customize this and incorporate it into any other system uh, you know I always recommend using other indicators or factors to help you decide whether to get into a trade or not uh, I also recommend using this easy trend with any of the order flow indicators that could help you get a good idea of uh, trend direction as well and then using any of their support and resistance indicators to give you some good ideas on levels or you could always draw your own too it's just a great a great tool to have in your kit thanks for watching and if you found this content useful uh, please like and subscribe I'll be going over many other Ninza indicators on this YouTube channel